Good morning, you guys. Welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. This morning, today is Monday. It's looking kind of cloudy. I didn't ask Siri what the forecast was today. Um, but today, I'm supposed to be pampering myself doing a manicure and a pedicure, kind of just relaxing and chilling today. I don't know if I'm going to um, do that or not. <laughs> but right now, I'm headed somewhere else to do some dumpster diving. Um, to just... Uh, I need some more the pillow inserts and just some more stuff that I could possibly use for the van without spending any money. And I know of a place that uh, that I could dumpster dive for stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna go there this morning. I just wasted tea on my dress. I got uh, my tea left over from my dinner last night from the birthday bash. Uh, there is a lot of traffic right now. I should have got my butt up. A little earlier but I, I started not to get up I was like I'm tired I don't know what's the deal but I'm not really sleeping and I don't know because I don't know if it's because well that mattress I had changed out that mattress was not comfortable. I had a different mattress last night. But you know how I don't know if things got to be a certain way to you for you to go to sleep and to sleep good. Like for me, I can't sleep without socks on my feet. <laughs> and last night I didn't have no socks on my feet and I was too lazy to get up and put some socks on my feet. So I don't know, y'all. I, I can't sleep without socks on my feet. So, I'm just going to sit here in traffic and see how long it takes me to get to where I'm going. And like I say, it's looking cloudy. Um, I had a piece of steak left over with some onions. Oh, this thank you. With some onions and um, some uh, mushrooms, so I'm gonna have to eat that later on, so I can take my vitamins. But let me see how long it's gonna take me to get to where I'm going. Probably an hour in this traffic. Don't you just hate morning traffic? Oh Lord. It's bumper to bumper. And it might be worse when I get to like if it's this bad right now. Freedom, it means healing, 
it's just a plethora of things for me and one of them is one of the things that van life means to me is soul searching finding myself getting to a better place and finding peace so i wanted to talk to you guys about being an ambassador you are an ambassador of your dreams you are an ambassador of your goals you are an ambassador of your future you are your ambassador anything that you do and say will propel you forward or will push you backwards and so you are a representation of you and it's up to you to choose to be the best ambassador that you could be. Uh, if someone paid you to represent their brand or their company or their focus, you would put your best foot forward in order to achieve the goal for that person. And sometimes we forget that we are the ambassador of ourselves and whatever it is that we want to pursue in life, we can make that happen. And we need to put just as much energy forward for ourselves as we do for other people. And that's one thing that I realized uh, a couple of years ago I was like you know I had all these people that always considered me a go-getter and would want me to work with them and for them and you know I was like I have always assisted other people and reaching their goal and their full potential and gave them creative ideas for themselves, their businesses or whatever. And I was like, you know, the same thing that you do for other people, you need to do that for yourself. Like, like you are there for everybody else and you drop everything for everybody else. How about doing that for yourself? So I just want to encourage you guys that you are an ambassador for you. You deserve the best foot forward that you could give and put into everything that you do for your life, for yourself. Like, Stop giving everybody else your best only to give yourself less. Let me say that again. Stop giving everybody else your best only to give yourself less. If you being there for everybody else means that you're not going to be able to be there for yourself, then that means you are not capable of being there for those other people. And it's nothing wrong. I think we beat ourselves up about being there for everybody else and you feel bad. Oh, they needed you and you weren't there for them. It's nothing wrong with not being able to be there for everybody else. It's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with putting yourself first. And if people try to make you feel guilty, it could be a family member, a sister, a brother, a child that tries to make you feel guilty because you were not able to be there for them. And you can't let people do that to you. You can't let people make you feel bad because you weren't there for them. They have to do the same thing you're doing. You can't put yourself in a position where you will be the savior and the rescue for other people all the time. That 
never have time for yourself because you are, let me put these windows up, because you are making people codependent on you. It's good to be able to help people out every now and then. It's good to be able to try to be there for other people. But you cannot be there for other people and 